is your third time facing the Clippers this postseason, in the postseason. What's different this time around than the first two times that you've obviously played them going into this matchup? We have Kai. Is that simple? Yeah, I mean, no. Uh, the whole team uh, is different, uh, you know. Uh, the whole team, like I always say, uh, same answer. We have great chemistry. Uh, we're playing great together, uh, but you know, Clippers—they have an amazing team. They have unbelievable talent. So uh, it's gonna every game is gonna be really tough. Beyond you and Kai, what do you feel like's clicked with this roster since the trade or trades? I should say. I think I get this question after every game, but uh, I think our chemistry is the top. We're playing defense great, uh, and we're playing great basketball. Does Kai seem like he's on a mission to you? Who? Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie. Uh, he's always in the mission, right? <laughs> he's playing, I mean, but he's been playing amazing. Uh, like I always say, you know, on the court, off the court. Uh, he's helping a lot of guys. He's talking to us. Uh, so he's been a great addition uh, since last year, and I'm really happy that we have him. Was there a moment where you and him, you know, the light bulb went off and you said, hey, this is going to work? I mean, I know it since the beginning. Uh, it's Kyrie. It's very urban, you know. Uh, everybody knows how he can play basketball. Uh, and I knew it since the beginning. Nathan, how much does postseason success matter in the legacy of great players in NBA history to you? And when you think about that, what stands out about that? I mean, you win championship. That's it. I mean, it's very important, right? It's the most important part. In terms of preparation, I know some guys um, change their routine a little bit up for the playoffs. Some guys get off social media. Is there anything that changes for you once this time of the year rolls around? No, I don't really have a routine. How do you Sim feel simple that. How much did the, the time off help? I feel good. Yeah, it helped a lot. You know, not being playing uh, helps a lot. It gets a couple extra days. Uh, get rested, get your mind right, and get ready to go. Luca, the fans sold out every game this season once again. What does that mean to you, just the Mavericks fan base? How much they love the team? Uh, everything, you know. Uh, they are sixth men, uh, and they help us a lot. You know, even when we were down, I remember uh, some games they stayed, uh, they cheered us, cheered us up to some wins. Uh, but it's amazing. I expect to be a great atmosphere in the playoffs, and man, they've been amazing since my first year. The Clippers have struggled with pace and teams playing faster. You guys have been working on that since the very beginning of the season. Uh, you feel like you've been preparing for a Clippers series like that and how much is the pace going to affect? We just have our first practice, uh, so uh, we watch some film, uh, we prepare, uh, but I ain't going to give you guys what we're going to do, right? Luca, Luca, I know as a team you all have one objective, but what do you tell the guys like Omax and Derek who are going into this for the first time? Um, players are fun. Uh, for me, they're very fun, uh, very intense. Playing for 48 minutes every game, uh, but just enjoy it. Uh, you never know if you're gonna come back or not. Uh, enjoy every moment of the game. You got, how does it feel winning the scoring title this season? Great, amazing. Luca, hablando de intensidad, tu defensa ha sido lo mejor desde que llegaste a la NBA. ¿Qué puedes hablar sobre eso? Uh, sí, he podido un paso adelante, así que creo que hemos mejorado muchísimo este año. In terms of facing the Clippers, uh, there's been a lot of changes on both teams through the years. The two constants for the Clippers are obviously Paul George and Kawhi. What's the biggest takeaway that you've had from competing against those two guys in particular in the playoffs? Amazing players, man. I mean, those two, uh, they play well together and uh, everybody knows what they can do offensively and defensively. Uh, so. I say every game is going to be tough. I mean, those two guys are amazing players, and it's going to be tough to stop them. What kind of impact has Derrick Jones had on this team? Big impact, I don't know, especially defensively. He's been stopping guys uh, a lot, and his pace, his verticality, and his shooting, actually. He's been shooting very well, uh, so his, his impact is very important for this team. How much yeah. different does this team feel than the other teams you've entered the playoffs with? Uh, we're in presence, so we can talk about this team. So I feel very good about this team. Dante Exum was was uh, you know, playing averaging six minutes for the first eight games. Was was there a moment that you realized how much how important he was going to be this season as his role began, you know, increasing? I mean, he was very important. Uh, I mean, 
obviously he still is. Uh, his defense, his pace on, on the on the offensive end and his shooting, you know. Uh, people trying to dare him uh, to shoot, but he's been working. He's been working hard and you can see the improvement. And he's been a key, if not one of the big key, keys to our winning. What does it mean to you? Last one. Right. What does it mean to you guys to have Lively back with the team? And I know he talked uh, the other morning to you guys personally. What did that mean for you guys? Um, big, you know, he's a, he's a great kid, uh, you know, and having him back is a big moment, uh, and you know we just got all help and we with him. You know we are we are his second family, and we can all help him and make him feel comfortable. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yep.